In this video, I'm gonna review our standard 7F that's basically about factoring polynomials. Now we've looked at uh, factoring using greatest common factor and we've also looked at grouping. Then we factored trinomials uh, where A is equal to one and where A is greater than one. And we also looked at the sum and difference of cubes. So I'm gonna review all three of these. Here in this first page, the first section, I'm gonna review greatest common factor and grouping. So in example one, you have 12X minus 20. Okay, we can factor this uh, polynomial, 12X minus 20, uh, by taking out the greatest common factor of 12, I'm sorry, of four. 12 is divisible by four and 20 is divisible by four, and that's the, the largest number that goes into both. So we take out the four, and the other factor that's remaining is what we would multiply four by to get back to this original. So four times three X is 12 X and four times negative five is negative 20. All right, so these are the two factors of that polynomial. In example two, eight X to the fifth plus 12 X cubed. The first difference you might notice in example two and one is that they both have, um, they both have a variable of X, okay? So the, um, 8 and the 12, the largest number that goes into both 8 and 12 is actually 4. That's the greatest common factor is 4 of the coefficients. And then x cubed, okay, can be factored out because x fifth also has a factor of x cubed. So x cubed is the greatest common factor of the variables. So 4x cubed is the greatest common factor of both of these terms. And then what we would multiply 4x cubed by is 2x squared plus 3. So again, you can always check your work. Four times two is eight, and x cubed times x squared, you add the exponents, three plus two is five. And then four times three is 12, and then x cubed uh, is times, I guess, one is x cubed, okay? So these are the factors of that. Now, let's look at grouping, which also uses greatest common factor. With this first, or uh, with this polynomial, we have four terms, okay? Uh, of course, it's in standard order or descending order, x cubed, x squared, x to the one, and the constant. We're going to group the first two terms, and then we're going to do like we did in examples one and two. We're going to take out the greatest common factor, which in this one, the only common factor is the x squared. So when we factor out x squared, we're left with 2x minus 5. Then in the other two that we group here, negative 22x and plus 55, I can actually take out an 11. 11 goes into 22 and 55. That's the greatest common factor. Now, this first term here is negative, so I'm going to factor out negative 11. And that, again, is going to leave me with 2x minus 5. So you see your common binomial. Now, our final factored form of this polynomial is the x squared minus the 11. And then the common binomial, 2x minus 5. And that is factoring by grouping. All right, now let's take a look at factoring trinomials. Okay, we discussed two types of polynomials. The first one where A is equal to 1. And what I mean by that is the AX squared is a 1. Remember, this is AX squared plus BX plus C. And this first term is 1X squared. So the way we factor that, uh, we can use this kind of X puzzle to help us with the numbers. But we multiply A times C, which is 18. So we're looking for all the numbers or all the factors of 18, the numbers that multiply to get 18, that would also combine to equal negative 11. Well, the factors of 18 are 1 and 18, 2 and 9. And we can make 2 and 9 equal negative 11 if they're both negative. And negative 2 times negative 9 is 18. And negative 2 plus negative 9 is negative 11. So in our factored form, it would be X minus 2 times X minus 9. These are the two factors of this trinomial. And if you multiply this binomial times binomial or use the FOIL method, you would get that answer. All right, the second example for factoring trinomials is when the A is greater than one. In this example, the A is five. Well, we still use our X puzzle to factor this trinomial, but we multiply A times C, but now it's five times this 15, which is 75. So we're looking for the factors of 75 that equal 28. Now, I didn't list all the factors here, but we have 1 times 75 and then 3 times 25. And I know that 3 and 25 can 
uh, can be combined to equal 28 if you just add them, if they're both positive. So I have written both of them here. So I brought down the AX squared term, 5X squared. Then I wrote 28X as both plus 25X plus 3X. And then I brought down the C term or the constant, which is plus 15. Then I use the grouping. So 5X squared plus 25X have a common factor of 5X to the 1. 5x to the 1. When we factor that out, what remains is x plus 5 to get back to this. Then with 3x plus 15, I can factor out a common factor of 3. Take out the positive 3, and again, you're left with x plus 5 to get back to here. So in factored form, it would be the 5x plus 3 times the x plus 5. So that's a look at factoring trinomials. That also includes having to use grouping. And then finally, we looked at the sum and difference of cubes. So these are special polynomials, and they factor in this form. Remember, a cubed plus b cubed equals a plus b, which is the cube root of a cubed, and the cube root of b cubed, a plus b, times a squared minus ab plus b squared. And then, just to go over it, the difference of cubes is the cube root of the first term minus the cube root of the second term, or a minus b, times a squared plus a times b plus b squared. Now, that's a bunch of letters, but let's take a look at some examples. So, in example one, we have x cubed plus 8. Well, the cubed root of x cubed is x, so that would be a. The cube root of 8 is 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So a plus b, right here, a plus b in this example is x plus 2. So if a is x, then the formula says that the trinomial, or we do a squared, which was x squared, minus a times b. Well, x times 2, or 2 times x is just 2x, so minus 2x, plus b squared. Well, the b again was 2, and 2 squared is 4. So this is how you factor x cubed plus 8. Now, in example two, we have 8x cubed minus 125y cubed. And again, this is the difference of two cubes because the cube root of 8 is 2 and the cube root of x cubed is x. Therefore, the cube root of 8x cubed is 2x. So a in the formula over here, a would be 2x. Then the cube root of 125y cubed is 5 because 5 times 5 times 5 is 125, and then y cubed, the cube root of that is y. So 5y would be the b of the formula. So we have a minus b. Then we have a squared, 2 squared is 4, and x squared is x squared, plus ab, and ab just means 5y times 2x. So 5 times 2 is 10, and then the x times y is xy. And then plus b squared. Well, b is 5y. And when you square 5y, you get 25y squared. So this would be the factored form of this difference of cubes. All right, and that's a look at what will be on the quiz over factoring or over 7b.